Hi everybody and welcome to this quick tip tutorial in Animate CC where we're going to use the HTML5 canvas to make this little banner ad for our coffee deal in our canteen, in our school canteen. Um, so let's follow along. Um, so I'm going to use uh, Animate CC to do my animation work, uh, but I prepared some files inside of Illustrator 2 um, because that's my favorite uh, 2D drawing tool. Of course you can do it in Animate CC as well, uh, but yeah, I, I like Illustrator for that reason. So I've made a little bunny for my commercial ad, for my banner ad, and a coffee cup with our school's logo on it. Um, and that's what I'm going to animate in Animate CC. Um, so I'm going to start with a new file which uh, has the HTML5 canvas. And I'm going to use the size of 180 pixels width and a height of 300 pixels. There we go. Command plus to zoom in a bit. And um, I'm going to start with making a rectangle for the uh, background without a line color to make the, uh, the sky. Of course I'm going to use a gradient in the background like this. And I'm going to alter the, uh, the color to uh, blue. There we go. And I'm going to rotate it as well. like this. So there's the sky. And I'm going to call my layer sky as well to keep things uh, in order. Um, I'm going to make a little bit of grass over here which is made of a green color. And of course I can draw um, the grass itself over here and make uh, a drawing out of it. There we go. And so this is my grass layer. So I'm going to uh, copy and paste my Illustrator file. So I'm going to copy my uh, my bunny. And because it's all vectors, we can just paste it inside of Animate using the basic presets. There we go. And I'm going to convert it to a symbol um, because I want to animate it later on. Bunny. I'm going to scale it down a bit. And I'll be doing the same thing for my uh, coffee cup. So select them all. Command C. Command V. OK. Right click. Make it into a symbol. There we go. So these are the basic things that I need for my uh, uh, banner. Of course I need to uh, arrange them in my layers as well. So this is my coffee cup. And this is my bunny layer. There we go. Um, and I want to make sure that uh, the coffee cup comes on the stage. Um, actually the bunny is bringing it onto the stage. So I'm going to make the final composition of my banner. Because that's what I like to do. I make to make the, the final composition at first. And then uh, work towards it. Of course it, uh, it happens over, uh, uh, over some time. So let's say that at uh, 35 uh, frames my composition comes to a stop. So I'm going to hit the F5 button to make extra keyframes uh, or hit the right mouse button and uh, insert the frames. And I'm going to make some keyframes for my, uh, my coffee cup. Um, and I'm going to do that with the uh, motion tween. In order to uh, make this my final composition I need to set a keyframe over here at the end. Insert keyframe for all because I'm going to rotate it as well and make the position alter. I go back to frame uh, 1, drag the coffee cup off the stage, scale it down quite a bit and with the motion tween uh, already set it's going to animate itself. There you go. And I want to make it look that like the, the bunny is carrying it so I'm going to rotate it 
every couple of a couple of frames. Does not need to be that precise. Just let it, let it wiggle. And a big one. And in the end it uh, stands still. Boom, there it is. La 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 la. There we go. And in the end I want to uh, let the bunny appear. So at 35 frames I want my bunny to appear. So I'm going to click and drag my keyframe from the bunny to frame 35. Give it some extra room with the shortcut F5 or insert frame from your right mouse button. Right click motion tween. And I'm going to do the same thing over here as well. So I'm going to make it appear over here. So I'm going to insert a keyframe for all. Go back to frame 35. And hide my bunny behind the cup. Make sure it doesn't appear uh, to the side of it. There you go. Ta-da! And maybe we can do some... Uh, uh, some stretching as well uh, so maybe I could do uh, this and back again to its original state bam there's the bunny so that's my, uh, my basic banner ad for now um, I'm going to use some uh, typography as well, because we need to know what the discount is about. I'm going to uh, make a, a, an ad for 50% uh, discount on all coffees. So I need to make uh, another layer. And uh, let's say that I want to make a, a rectangle with a really happy color, like something purple-ish. Select one of the corners of the rectangle and delete it so I can put it in the right top corner maybe a bit smaller something like this and let's add some uh, typography on it as well uh, uh, maybe it's a bit too purple okay um, so I'm going to uh, hit my uh, text tool, take a look at the properties, um, and I'm going to type 50% off. I don't like the typography at this moment, so I want to, uh, to change it. And of course you, uh, you are allowed to use your own system fonts. Uh, but the cool thing of Animate CC is that you have your access to uh, the, uh, the web fonts like Typekit as well. So I'm going to click on the little globe over here and I'm going to, yes, and get started with Typekit fonts. Um, filter it like I want these handwritten uh, fonts uh, and make it into, well, let's do the bellow. Let's see what happens. I'm going to hit OK. It is already installed now. Uh, I only need to find it in the font family uh, drop down. And at the top of this uh, this long, extremely long list of fonts, you will find your your web fonts, and I can use the uh, the Bello font. Uh, maybe I don't like it that much. I like the Benny more. Um, but then you can choose the, the web fonts, which will run in your browser perfectly. Make it white. Let's change. The line spacing a bit move it in the top corner maybe a bit maybe a bit smaller there you go so that's pretty cool to use the, the web fonts as well another cool thing is that you can use the uh, the paintbrush um, with uh, some uh, some styles added to it like uh, decorative banner style 
like this banner and with a nice uh, big uh, stroke size you can draw your banner maybe a bit smaller something like this it's just still a line so I can uh, move it along convert it into a symbol and add some text to it as well coffee deal I'm gonna rotate it a bit There we go, and of course these items will be animated as well. So let's convert this one in a symbol to 50%. Bunny appears. Fifty percent can come in. keyframe for all so 50% can uh, can come in at uh, the moment that the bunny appears make it a motion tween set my keyframe for all and drag it off stage and same goes for the uh, the banner ad over here that's already a symbol so I'm gonna drag it towards here and um, let's do something different with it motion tween of course this is the final composition so I'm gonna insert the keyframe for all scale it down a bit and drag it off stage There you go, and that's your HTML5 banner ad, which you can use in uh, Adobe Muse, uh, Dreamweaver, uh, even InDesign. Uh, that's all possible. So I'm going to command enter, and let's see it inside of the browser. There we go. Of course, it uh, it, it it loops. Um, you can choose if you want to extend your timeline with another couple of frames or just uh, stop it with some uh, some scripting I'm gonna show you both so I'm gonna select uh, at 110 F5 insert frame and that will give us a little moment of, uh, of rest at the end of the animation and it holds still for quite some time and it starts over again or you can add An action layer make a keyframe at the moment where you want to stop the animation insert keyframe All right click again and go to actions all below where you can't see it in this uh, this video gonna use the code snippets action scripts or HTML5 canvas well we're gonna go for HTML5 canvas timeline navigation and stop at this frame and that will make the animation stop and it won't repeat again there you go well i hope this tutorial was helpful for you and i'm curious to find out what you make with animate cc bye bye and see you next time